follow up on that Apollo 17 video. This will be kind of kind of part two, but a mashup of all the the best moon anomalies that I've found in uh, in 2020, including that one right there. Now on the left, we're looking at the Apollo 17 footage. On the right, that is from 2020. So one is from 1972, the other 2020, and you can clearly see these tunnels. You know what appears to be going into some some kind of a hangar. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna see things that look like ancient ruins. I mean, it's crazy. And right there, I blew up the craft that was flashing at uh, at the Apollo 17 moon orbiter. Okay. Um, I mean, this is tough to break down. There's a lot going on here. Right there on the left, you see the tunnels. Now those tunnels are big enough to fit the Golden Gate Bridge inside. They're huge, massive. I mean, you could put a football stadium in there end to end to end, okay? And notice that tunnel goes into the side of the mountain, and it kind of reminded me of S4, Bob Lazar, Area 51, Groom Lake. And I'll show an overlay in a minute here. And, and again, there's so much to break down. Uh, it, it looks like some type of ancient ruins. And that right there looks like, you know, a satellite dish. I mean, probably a crater, I don't know. But if you look at this video, you know, you would think you're looking at like Google Maps, okay? Or some kind of ancient ruins in Egypt or Mexico or anywhere for that matter. They're everywhere. Now, right there, there's a picture of S4, what Bob Lazar uh, described. You know, the, the, the door would open up going into a hangar at Area 51 and what you're looking at now is on the moon now that one right there appears to have something inside of it you can see that you know highlighted white color and then to the left over there again it looks like ancient ruins I mean look at that you can almost see roadways and things like that we'll zoom in here I mean this is crazy that does not look natural at all and, and I, I think you know I'm more intrigued by these hangers and right there another moon anomaly again kind of a mashup today uh, I'm gonna show you guys everything now right there I made a video if you guys want to check it out go check it out showing the hangers at s4 and almost identi identical to what we can find on the moon today again the video you're looking at now is from an amateur moon watcher from 2020 okay out of California I mean it, it looks identical right completely crazy uh, top right hand corner you know a perfectly round disc shaped I don't know satellite crater who knows now here is uh, the Apollo 17 footage that I told you guys we're gonna break down notice the shadows there I found seven or eight shadows in total okay um, now there should only be two now watch this shadow right there boom goes off to the left why is it doing that there's another shadow right there uh, you have two craft up there, the, the orbiter and then the moon module. We should only have two shadows. There's another one right there. Uh, there's the anomaly right there. It looks like a dinosaur egg, but right here is what we're looking at. Now, that does not look natural. There's the tunnels. By the way, the reason I, I wanted to show the video earlier was because it's, it's around the same area Apollo 17 landed. Now, right there, we're zooming in on this object that... that you know flashes right there okay that's a tick t a tick tack shaped craft that I found back in 2020 and we're gonna we're gonna kind of get into slow motion here we're gonna zoom in on that right there slow motion UFO lights up okay let's have a look I mean guys this is crazy there shouldn't be anything on the moon lighting up like that right there okay slow motion let's and, and you'll notice there's gonna be like a metallic craft and some type of triangular shape I mean, it's it's completely insane right there. You see it. Now, of course, you guys know. I'm going to zoom in, give you guys a good look at it. There's the object that, that was flashing. Okay, and right there is some weird triangular craft. I don't know. It looks metallic. And again, there's, there's the actual flash. Now, let's get to a few of these moon anomalies. By the way, the GPS coordinates is at the bottom. If you guys want to verify any image or any video, including that one, um, the GPS coordinates can be found uh, either on the image or I can leave them below. For example, again, that tic-tac craft right there. Uh, that moon anomaly, by the way, NASA tried to hide that. You have to go to Google Moon and put it in mosaic uh, mode okay, in order to, to find it. They blurred it out. Now, right here, this electrical dis uh, discharge 
on the moon. You know, so this has been happening for a while. You know, uh, and the moon shouldn't have anything like that. Okay? It, it, it's insane. This right here, I don't know what it is. I have no idea, but I wanted to show it because these are things I found on Google Moon, okay, in 2020. And again, just kind of a mashup, you know, a, a collection of the best of the best. Now, most people would make 10, 15 videos out of this content, but I wanted to just put it all in one package and deliver it okay right there again that does not look natural that looks like some type of train like a locomotive uh it, it, it looks like a machine almost like a 1940s 1950s like ex excavator okay v-shaped craft with these little dots again does not look natural at all crazy right okay we'll continue all these little dots all over the moon and when you zoom in, that's what you get. And, uh, you know, again, I haven't added any, you know, CGI, nothing like that. So, all right, guys, what do you think? Leave a comment below. These tunnels on the moon, I believe they're underground bases. Now, remember, you guys called me a fraud, a hoaxer, a fake, when I showed the picture to the bottom left of your screen. Well, what did I do? I found the actual video. You know, a man took it with his telescope. This is a real video of the real moon from a real telescope, okay? And, and here it is. Okay guys, don't have my microphone today, but I wanted to get a video out to you. So, the video we're looking at here, 100% verifiable, real, authentic, taken from a telescope. Now, I found it on another YouTube channel. They claimed it was Apollo 17 video, but um, I kind of debunked that. It was basically an, you know, an amateur with a telescope right here on Earth uh, that, that recorded these moon anomalies. Now, I put out a video, what, about a week ago of these you know reflective objects on the moon, and a lot of people brought up the ALSEP, ALSEP, um, you know, experiments going back to the Apollo missions, but that's, that's not what we're looking at. These are, you know, anomalies, UFOs. Um, it's not the LSEP. Again, A-L-S-E-P, if you guys want to look that up. Uh, we're looking at what I believe are UFOs. There it is, the craft, I believe the crew on Apollo 17 witnessed, okay? Doesn't it remind you of that flying machine? Yes, indeed. Okay, now look, guys, the, the, the video today is so important, I'm probably going to have to make a part one, part two. There, there's way too much to break down. Um, I've taken old Apollo footage, converted it to 30 FPS, then added filters to bring out all the detail, and I have found some truly incredible things in the video. It's too much to break now, so, all right, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get into it, and I'll be back. Super targeting. Scott, we've got the family mount. We've got the course of machine. We can see the scarf. We can see the light panel. I've got the great cross, Camelot, Sherlock. Believe it or not, Houston, they're all there. How about that? I see a uh, possible structure, possible structure in the upper part of the South Mass Seat, uh, a little bit east of uh, Station 2. It's uh, sub-horizontal, dipping to the uh, south east. Houston, I can even see Poppy right where we're going to set this baby down. Very good. Matter of fact, I can see Rudolph. I can even see the triangle, Rudolph, Frosty, and Park.
Okay, right there. You see the craft. Um, now I'm gonna do the best I can to show you everything, uh, but it, but it's gonna take multiple videos. Now, right there, that's where they landed. You see the lunar module where the blue dot is. Now, in the video, you heard them say uh, to the southeast, okay, where the arrow is right there. Now, notice that's the furthest point they traveled. They went back to where they saw that craft. If you just map it out, it's not difficult to do. They traveled all the way back from the lunar module all the way back down to the southeast to investigate that craft. Now, I've also discovered tunnels, uh, flashing lights, weird shadows. For example, that shadow right there, I don't believe, you know, that is um, the, uh, the, the, lunar, the lunar orbiter. Okay, or the module that's about to land, because right now you have the orbiter following the module. Okay, so you have two NASA craft up there, but we have four shadows. You know, so I believe they were being followed. And right here is where they pan down, and there's the tunnel entrance right there. Okay, there's more tunnels right there, and there's the, the craft right there where that little white dot is. There's the tunnels right there. Like I said, guys, a lot to break down. Now remember, they landed northeast of here and went way back down to investigate that craft right there that is what i truly believed ha happened and you know i've done i don't know about a week's worth of research on apollo 17 um and i just couldn't i just the, look the more i dig into it the more i find it is truly incredible okay there's the shadow right there now that could be from the module that is about to land but like I showed you earlier, that shadow was in a different location, and I counted four shadows. I understand there's also some debris on the camera lens right there, uh, the DAC, the DAC, the DAC camera that they originally used. So I'm not I'm not looking at you know dirt. I'm talking about the actual shadows, and just look at all this stuff going on down there. There's the tunnel entrance, some weird triangular craft. Okay, there's another, possibly a cave. I don't know. Okay. Right there, he referred to it as a suborbital uh, structure, okay? When, when he said, you know, we, you know basically he, he spotted a UFO. That's what happened. Um, then, when I went back and watched it, there was also a flashing light. Now, there shouldn't be anything flashing on the moon. You know, like I said, guys, there's so much to break down here. Right here, I added a lot of, uh, a lot of light here, a lot of contrast, just to bring out all the detail. Now that shadow again, I believe that is from the the you know the the moon module, okay? But compare it to the other two shadows and you have four in total, okay? It's crazy. Uh and I and I believe there's a tunnel entrance. I believe there's caves. I believe uh, there's well, I don't believe it's a fact. See, there's the tunnels, the cave entrance right there. There's the tunnels right there. Okay? There's the craft, there's the UFO right there. We got so much to break down. Now watch this. Boom, right there, flashing light. What is flashing on the moon? I mean, I understand there are things that, that are reflective on the moon, but I don't believe that's what it is. I believe it is an alien craft. All right, now we're gonna have another look at the map, okay? Again, there, there's the southeast location right there. You know, why did they travel way back down there? And remember, whenever he spotted the craft, he made a, a verbal note as to where it was located, and that's exactly where they went. You know, so was that predetermined? Or did they decide to go investigate? I believe they decided to go investigate. That's what I truly believe, okay? Um, because that's a very long way to go on the moon. Anyway, just to preview, we're going to thoroughly break this down later. I just kind of wanted to get it out there to let you guys know what I'm working on. Um, and I will have updates and, and I'll be able to kind of present the, the video a little bit better. I just need a little bit more time to work on it. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm working on. So leave a comment below. What do you think?